guys, happy Sunday. I'm back. It's been a few days. I was just taking some time this weekend to really be in the moment and enjoy my time. But I wanted to share with you some kind of Sunday rituals I have that set me up for the week, help me regroup and focus, and just how I like to spend a day that in my mind is meant, um, I don't know, just to like recalibrate and get ready and be your best self. So I have this journal that I write everything in from business ideas to what I'm thankful for. I try every morning to write what I'm grateful for. A lot of times I'm rushing out of the house so it doesn't happen, but I just wanted to talk about some of the things that I do on Sundays that I think are helpful. Some of them may be obvious, but so today I did something that makes me truly happy, which is baking. And something that I do sometimes is make a list of everything that makes me happy. If I'm, I don't know, I get caught up in everyday life and just I'm like, why am I so unhappy for no reason? There's so many little beautiful things in the world to be grateful for. So something as simple as I made one on my computer one time and it's like coffee, puppies, friends, ocean, sunlight, a baby smile, stuff like that that you forget about. And then you can make an active effort to fill your life with more of that. So yeah, today I baked for my friend. It's his birthday tomorrow. And just one of the things that I think everyone has a different way that they can show people love. For me, that's through cooking. So I love to bake for people and have them eat my food and just be happy. I mean, who doesn't love? Like today I made pumpkin, banana, bread, muffins. Like who wouldn't be happy eating that? Um, I took care of my body this week. I worked out every day. I ate healthy, but I still treated myself on the weekend because I think balance is so important. I spent time with friends, both new and old. I think it's so important to surround yourself in life with people. I have kind of like criteria. Either someone needs to make me laugh and be happy. They make me better. They inspire me. I don't really like, I kind of need someone that kicks me in the butt figuratively, like is hard on me. And I think that I need friends that are just real with me and that's super important. Um, yeah, so just either make me better, inspire me or make me happy. If they're not adding to your life value, it, sometimes we get complacent and we just have people in our life because we have no one else to hang out with or we're used to hanging out with a certain group of people. It'd be so selective because I can see times in my life where I've gone downhill and that directly correlates to who I was spending my time with. It is so important and it's taken me now in LA like over two years to find you know, solid friends, but it's making me so happy that I'm getting to spend time and strengthen those relationships with the friends that I have made and then also new people I'm meeting that are awesome. I also strength, oh, called my mom and my aunt, which I don't know, I know there's certain people that talk to their parents or family members every day. I'm not one of those people. I have to like make an active effort to do so, but I think it's also so important to stay close to your family because at the end of the day, friends come and go, relationships, but you're always gonna have those people in your life. So it's so, so important. I also made my first YouTube video. This is now the second, well, actually I've had a bunch, but just through this, doing this five minute thing where I talk or cook or do something. I started that this week, which I'm really excited about. I also signed with a new agency, which is really exciting. I mentioned that in my last video. So I'm making all these different moves for my career. And it's so hard for me to learn patience because I want everything at once. I wanna have a big presence on certain social platforms and be ready to move to the city I wanna live in and do different things. But you know, doing a practice like this, writing the little wins, because we get so caught up in achieving big goals that we forget, like, you know, I think, oh, I only worked a day this week. I'm not making progress, but if you really take note and notice and have gratitude for yourself for all the little things that you're accomplishing along the way, you're going to look back when you do achieve your goals and say, oh, I can see that it took constant effort. Like you're not going to get muscles overnight. You have to work out, you know, multiple times a week, strengthen the same muscles, and then you're going to realize one day that you're stronger. I also booked a flight home. I don't, I haven't gone home that often, so I'm going to go home for Thanksgiving and I'm really excited about that. And then other certain things that I do on Sundays, other than, you know, kind of recapping my week, is I think it's so important every day. Sometimes it's hard for me to do, remember to do this every day, so I really make an effort to do it on Sundays, is unplug for at least an hour. Maybe go on a run and don't bring your phone. Go on a walk. For me today, when I was baking, I just played some music, didn't have my phone or any other distractions. I was just in the moment, and you just focus on your breath and being present and just being happy. 
And that really helps you. For me, it's so hard in this world of social media to be always comparing yourself. Like whether someone else is doing something that's more fun or they're achieving more, like just be happy with where you are at in life and with yourself. I went to the farmer's market today. That's kind of one of my weekly rituals. I like to mix things up and travel and get bored of routine, but I also have certain things in life that I love. Like I make a couple breakfasts pretty consistently that I look forward to waking up and having. Um, yeah, and I love going to the farmer's market. It's down the street. So some of my friends that live in my area will walk there together and get to talk or, you know, it's just a really nice thing to go be out in the community and connect with people. I set goals for the week. It's pretty typical. Just kind of look at what I want to accomplish, whether that's mentally, work-wise, financially, spiritually, um, in the community, volunteering, which I want to do more of. And then, yeah, just look over your week, recap. And those are a few tips I have. I'm going to do a video of kind of a day in my life and little tips and tricks I have on how to, you know, be successful, whatever that means to you. To me, that means just being happy. So, you know, what I do to stay healthy and present. And it's a process. It's I'm still working on it. I struggle every day, but I'm working on it. And so can you. Thank you for listening. Again, I want to hear comments, questions. I know someone requested a workout video, which I can do. Maybe tell me what kind of workouts, what kind of recipes, what kind of topics. I want to talk about the modeling industry, but I know that doesn't pertain to everyone. So maybe just about mental health and other things. So have a wonderful week, everyone. Um, stay positive, not mad-y. <laughs>